In the previous videos I showed you how to connect your pointing stick to Arduino using PS2 protocol. Pointing stick is a little device with a round rubber knob that is installed in keyboards of some of the laptops. So after managing to connect it and get the readings from it, I built a little remote control for my test car. As you can see, I took a small plastic box that held the headphones when I bought my Samsung Galaxy S7. This box is pretty small, has a glossy texture, feels and looks really nice and perfectly fits into your palm. I installed a micro switch that I reclaimed from some of the old circuit board. Let me show you a test of how it works in action. The pointing stick seems to handle ok and the car is moving according to the movements of the finger. However, since this handles and feels differently than usual joysticks, it takes time to get used to. The test code that I'm using is very simple. The remote control initiates the pointing stick using the PS2 protocol remote mode. It turns on the Wi-Fi and starts sending commands over UDP protocol. The commands are accepted every 100 milliseconds. And if there is no new command after the 100 milliseconds, the car stops. So to get the car moving just like a mouse pointer, you need to continuously apply pressure to the pointing stick. I will not go over the technical details on sending commands part, as this is not point of this video. Since this is a proof of concept, the car is only accepting commands such as forward, backward, left and right. It could be possible to implement sideways movements, such as going forward and turning slightly left, if PWM was used. Also, I have not been able to properly adapt the PS2 code to use the stream mode. Stream mode could allow you to use advanced gestures from Synaptic's pointing sticks, such as tap and double tap, which could be used for special car functions, such as turning on the light or a buzzer. Despite a working prototype, I do not think I will be using this remote in real life. Main reason is that the rubber cap comes off very easily and will eventually get lost. Let's take a look inside. The setup is very simple and contains five components. First one is the pointing stick module. I used the hot glue to fix the wires because the soldering points are very fragile. The heart of the remote control is the ESP8266 Node MCU device. I used it because it's cheap and has a Wi-Fi integrated into it. The 5 volts for ESP and pointing stick are supplied by the step-up converter. A small battery that I took out from some old mobile phone is connected to the step-up converter using a micro switch. And a quick demo to show you how I charged the battery. This is a TP4056 charging module, and because the battery capacity is less than 1 amp hour, I changed the resistors on the module. I'm using the small oscilloscope clips to connect the charging module to the battery. All in all, it was a fun project, and maybe sometime in the future I will work out a way to use the stream mode to get at least two more commands without adding more buttons. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the like button.